you can build a sci-fi inspired lantern using an Adafruit Cutie Pie and LED noodles. We 3D printed parts to build a container that showcases these flexible LED filaments. Each LED noodle is squished into these 3D printed holders and mounted vertically. A sheet of PET material wraps around internal mounting plates to resemble a glass container. Powered by the Cutie Pie RP2040, six individual LED noodles are wired up to the GPIO pins and controlled with PWM. The Cutie Pie snap fits into a small perma proto board so it's modular and easy to swap for an upgrade. It features a latching push button with a built-in LED ring for turning the lantern on and off. There's also a print-in-place handle with a built-in hinge that allows it to swing back and forth. It's running off a cylindrical LiPo battery so it's portable and will last for several hours. The LED noodles are individually controlled using the PWM library in CircuitPython. The USB port is accessible and can charge the battery with a LiPo charger BFF add-on. In the code, if the button is pressed, the LEDs slowly fade, and if the button is not pressed, the LEDs stay off. CircuitPython makes it easy to drive LEDs so you can quickly develop your next DIY project. The enclosure features parts that are 3D printed without any support material. 3D models of Adafruit parts are available to download on the Adafruit CAD Parts GitHub repo. To power LED noodles, you want to use a choke resistor to limit the current flowing from your power source. Here we have a 3.7 volt LiPo battery with a 220 ohm resistor wired up to a solderless breadboard. Alligator clips make it easy to connect to your breadboard for testing polarity and your power source. Start by connecting an alligator clip to the cathode end of the noodle. The anode, or positive end, features a notable hole in the metal contact so it's easy to spot. For more documentation and some demo code, be sure to check out the Learn Guide on the Adafruit Learning System. We hope this project inspires you to check out LED Noodles and use CircuitPython for your next project.